Hey, welcome back to Resin Art by Catherine. So today I thought I'd show how you can use um, an old coaster and repurpose it. So I have a lot of experimental ones that are pretty thin. Um, they might be uneven on the bottom, whatever it may be, or I just I didn't like the way it turned out. But I do save a lot of those. Um, unless they really annoy me, I, then I literally just toss them in the trash. But a lot of times I save them for this purpose. So here I just took some frog tape and that's where my sand's gonna go. I don't know if I'm doing this correctly. I just, that's how I did it and it worked. Um, I did no other prepping on the coaster. I now took some, this is actually mica powder. I took, oh my gosh, I don't remember the name. It's from May Spring. I think it's ocean blue or, it's not tropical blue, but I will list it below. Mix that with resin, pour that on top. I'm using Passion Top Cell White Paste from Color Passion Art. Um, pour that. Now, this technique that you see me doing, you use a blowtorch and that's it. You, once you pour down your colors, you heat, whoops, you see the little fire there? Uh-huh, careful. So you warm up above your wave, above your white. Get that warmed up, pop any bubbles, make sure there's nothing in there that's going to um, catch on the white, any dust or anything, because it's going to make your white split. Um, and then as you're tilting forward, you take your blowtorch and then you move up towards the, where the frog tape is. That's where you put your heat as you're tilting. And as you're tilting and blowing the heat on that thick white part, you start to get those cells. So I stop right here and I think this is when I tilt it and let it sit. Um, this was my first time, you guys. I watched an artist, and I'm going to tag her below. It's Artist Till Death. It's a husband and wife duo. They just got married, but they've been together for a while, and I just discovered her. Um, I'm kind of pissed that other artists haven't told me about her because I'm telling, I'm bragging about her, and they're like, oh, I followed her for years. Well, what the fuck? So anyways, go to her page. She has a YouTube page and Instagram, but she so shows more techniques on this type of uh, cell action on her YouTube page. So all the credit goes to her. Here, this is actual sand that I brought home from the beach because I'm a beachcomber. Threw in some metallic ink, poured it on the frog tape. Now, once it's done, um, I was able to peel the frog tape off quite easily, although there's still some on the edge. Um, I just take a razor blade, scrape that off, and then I re-gilded um, the sides with gold. And that was it, you guys, and then did another top coat. I did go back later and touch up my um, sea foam, I guess is what you call it. Put on a thicker um, edge and then blew a little more waves on top once this layer had dried. And I'll show you the results, um, the final finished product after this. So once I saw where I wanted it, I flattened my coaster back out and that is it. Until next time, guys.